We have patiently waiting in the green room my friend Ann Morrison. Ann is a scientist. Ann is an engineer. Ann runs a business, a web-based business. The address is World Wide Web, homeland-defense, number four, letter U, dot com. Ann, good morning. How are you? Good morning, John. We have some um, problems up by Iceland. What's we going have, on? Well, we have a swarm of um, earthquakes up by Iceland. And okay. not only that, we had, I don't know if you've heard of this, Red Canes Ridge. And it's mm. a, uh, it comes out of, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to pronounce it, but Reykjavik, Iceland. <laughs> it's, okay. a part of, it's part of the North Atlantic Ridge. You know, the ridge is where the tectonic plate from right. the Europe meets the tectonic plate from North America. Okay. And it's building a ridge there, and of course it is highly active seismically. And in fact, just off to the east of that is where the Canary Island swarm is going. We'll talk about that, too. But I was interested um, because uh, Rakeen's Ridge is an offshoot of the Atlantic Ridge, and it had three, um, well, it had three earthquakes. One was 5.7. That was the largest one. And then there was, it was preceded by a uh, 5.0 and a 5.3. So this ridge is associated with um, Katla Volcano and Ayafoko Yoko Volcano in Iceland. Okay, I was going to say, what's the connection? And that's why we should be concerned. Those those volcanoes have been known in the past, within recorded history, the last couple of hundred years, to uh, cause global cooling for a year or more, uh, devastating uh, crops in the Northern Hemisphere. And... Uh, one of those volcanoes is giving credit for the French, Rev the successful French Revolution because of the uh, starvation due to the, the cooling from that volcano. Well, we definitely need to keep an eye on that. Uh, they did say that Catla did erupt in June. They they weren't sure, but they finally decided it did erupt, and that but it was a uh, very brief eruption. If it had been, and they said that it did not release the seismic strain underneath the volcano, underneath the ice and so they're still expecting it to erupt like it did back then uh -oh. in which case it would shoot poisonous gases uh, into Europe and back into uh, Greenland and Canada well, How would it go go west? I, I thought those winds were always prevailing from west to east They prevail from west to east but if you get a high pressure center which we have right now over mm -hmm. Greenland and Greenland is a little bit northwest of Iceland Right. Yeah, the circulation around a high pressure system is clockwise, and okay. therefore the wind will blow it back into Can uh, Canada and upper U.S. And by the way, here in uh, the Midwest, in uh, close to where we are, we've got um, uh, a stacked high over us. Now you'd think that that was good because it brings the the nice balmy weather, and we've all enjoyed it. Yeah, I think it. it's good. All right. So but tell me why. Also, what, what's the, what's the flip side? The flip side is that it's bringing down radiation, radioactive particles. And, oh, no. Oh, yeah. So if you guys have uh, your detectors out there and uh, you have them turned on, you should be noticing anybody over the Midwest should be noticing an uptick in radiation. It's kind of like, you know, I tell you that the, the rain washes out the radiation. Right. Well, that's true if you have thunderstorms. The last storm we had come through here was not a thunderstorm. It was probably at about... 10,000 feet maybe and right. it didn't get up there to 30,000 feet where the where there are some radioactive particles so you should be measuring um, you should have your radiation detectors out and operating at this time and not only that it'll trap the smog and the other air pollutants down at the ground level so if you're having headaches I mean it you know nice weather is nice but maybe you don't want to get out and mow your lawn because the air pollution is not nice right 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 well, that's all good information that we all need to keep in mind. Um, what's uh, going on with the Canary Islands, Anne? Canary Islands. Well, they're saying that the, the you know there's a magma ball under them, and the swarm continues. We had, uh, of course, the peak was back with 270 on the 27th of September, and that was what about 10 days ago. Right. And uh, yesterday it was down about 124. Uh, it's been 
bobbing up and down around 120, 100. So for the past almost uh, three weeks, we've had a swarm of earthquakes there, and people have evacuated, and there is the thought that that volcano will go. That volcano is, um, is known for producing tsunamis. Right. And so we don't, we don't want to take this lightly. No, um, we don't. And I need to interrupt you here. I'm, I'm getting calls from uh, the listeners on the East Coast. They're just anguishing over this. They want it, they want answers from me. And, and here's what I tell them. I want some input from you on what I'm about to say. We've got some of the, the best Ph.D. seismologists, volcanists, uh, geologists, uh, building computer models on what's happening and what will happen. Uh, but basically, at the end of the day, it's educated guesswork as to whether there will or will not be a life-threatening giant tidal wave that will come at North America. Would that be an accurate statement? Well, yes, because these are geologic events. And uh, did you hear that they're suing those Italian seismologists that uh, yes. did not warn the public about the uh, large earthquake that occurred in Italy and destroyed... You, you uh, know, I... I I, have, I don't know the details yet. Well, obviously one of them wanted to warn, because he did warn. He, he right. sent out a thing to the newspapers, and the newspapers caught it up and said, this, this seismologist says there's going to uh, be a big earthquake here, and he based that solely on radon readings. Right. So all you people with the radiation detectors, if you're anywhere around a hot springs, um, be aware if there's radon coming out of there, you should uh, be able to detect that and let us know. Let Absolutely. the public know. Uh, and we got about one minute to summarize our thoughts uh, for the day and the week. Give a radiation detector. All Get right, that's it. <laughs> that's All it right, for today. That's it for the week, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the chair is in the window. Buy lots of ammunition. Never give up your guns. And God bless America.